I haven't played Splatoon in like three months, four months. So uh, let's let's try it out. I am wrapped in a cocoon of wires, but that should be fine. Oh boy. Hold on to your tentacles! It's in Gobbler's News Time, baby. Team Callie or Team Marie. Head over to the pledge box and pick my side. We've got some update information to share. Oh, is this just new guns and stuff? Yeah, I haven't I haven't played in a while. Yeah, okay, got gotcha. I gotcha, buddy. How do I turn off gyro? I, I usually play with gyro turned on, but I, I feel like it's a bad idea for the position I'm sitting in right now. I don't even remember how to turn off gyro. Oh boy. You have to do it in the options? How do you do that? Options? Motion controls off. I usually I usually play with them on, but it's probably better to have them off while I'm streaming. Just for the sake of the stream. Okay. Well, I need to pledge myself... I need to pledge myself to Team Marie. Toasterman, you can't team up during Splatfest, can you? Join this team? Of, of course I'm going to join best team. Why on God's green earth would I would I join Team Callie? Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. Okay. So, uh, can I at least pick my outfit for this? I don't know which gun- I haven't played this in so long, I don't fucking know what gun to use. Which type of gun is best gun now? What is the current meta for this game? Uh... I guess I'll just use- which- what does this have? I'll use this one. Wait a minute. I wish these were organized by type. That would be nice. I- I had a favorite. It was, uh, was this one? It had- it was one of the ones that looked like- I think it was this one. No. It looked like this. I'm gonna use this one anyway, though. Um, yeah, I'll use this. I'll use that. And I will wear these shoes. I want to wear big shoes. Alright, okay. I guess that's it. Guys, don't you think that this Splatfest is kind of fucked up? Don't you think that this Splatfest is kind of fucked up? Because it's like... It's like... Isn't one of the Squid Sisters gonna get have her feelings hurt at the end of it? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like... I feel like whoever loses is gonna get their feelings hurt. You know? Alright, well, let's do it. I am very out of practice in this. Let me just move my microphone over a little bit more so I can get closer to the television. Alright. Ron. Oh, great. We're here with Ron. Marie King. Marie Champion. I'm a Marie fanboy. Well, see, this is how they should have done it. They should have had Marie be on Team Callie and Team Callie be on Team Marie. That way, it would have been, like, nice. I bet you at the end, they're going to be like, but I was actually secretly fighting for your team. You know? That way, no one gets their feelings hurt. Also, Marie is clearly going to win. It's not even a contest. She's going to win in both popularity and strength. With people like Ryan on their team and Carter, it's like, what the fuck, you know? You see people named like Ryan and Carter, and you're like, what? These are the warriors you have fighting for you, Callie? What is this level? Oh, I remember this level. Man, it's been a long time. Power level? Would they have a higher power level? This is garbage. Oh, this is a uh, turf war. Okay, good. Well, at least I can do that. This isn't the regular Splatfest music. This is like the end of the, the the final music from the last level of the game. Oh boy. I haven't played this in so long. I don't remember how to use any weapons or anything. Oh Jesus. I feel I felt like contractually obligated to play this Splatfest just because it was the last one, you know? Oh fuck. Fuck that. Fuck that noise. I need the gyro on. Can I turn can I turn the gyro on mid-game? No? I thought it would be hard to do while streaming, but I, I clearly need, I clearly need gyro. Also, I cannot look at chat while I'm playing this. Are you kidding me? There's no way I'm looking at chat while I'm in the middle of the game. Okay, this is, this is some malarkey. I need to turn gyro on. I, I can't aim without my gyro, baby. 
Alright, I've only gotten 218 points. This is pathetic. I... I don't even... I don't even know what the jump button is. They have fucking Carter. How are we supposed to do this? Alright. Alright, let me, let me go over here. Oh yeah, you can jump the teammates and everything. It's been way too long. Alright, I need to definitely, definitely turn on Gyro after this game. Hey, can you maybe save some purple for me, buddy? I don't remember how to use my super move. I don't remember how to use my alternate move. Oh, R is alternate move. Okay. My sub weapon, or whatever the fuck they call it with the fancy terms. Oh, you fucking sniping son of a gun. Ryan. Fuck you, Ryan. No, Danny's asleep on the couch. He's not playing. He thinks Splatoon's for babies. I keep telling him it's not. I keep telling him it's game of the year, but he's like, no. You know, fuck that. So how are you guys doing today? Have you seen any of the, the new Sonic Sonic things? It's pretty pretty strange. I can't really talk about anything right now though. I'm too focused on, on turning this purple green. Yeah, I got a kill! JBR. Fuck you, JBR. And now I'm Mega Mode. Fuck you, Ryan. Oh shit, I'm gonna win this fucking game for my team right now. Oh, that didn't last very long at all. I seem to remember that lasting longer than it did. Oh boy. I think we might win this one, baby, looking at the map. You guys can't see the map, though, because it's, it's not for your eyes. It's for my eyes only. But, uh, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I think we might think we might win. Except for this tornado son of a gun. Hey! Also, I would like to point out, if you would feel if you don't feel like watching me stream, I would actually rather you guys be over watching the Vine Sauce Cancer Charity stream that's going on. Because I think that's great what they're doing. So when I'm done streaming, um when I'm done streaming, I'm definitely gonna Oh, we lost. When I'm done streaming, I'm gonna host whoever's Oh, uh, fuck that. Marie's, Marie's team is best. They used steroids. They used goddamn steroids on their team. Maybe if Ron would stop dropping the ball, you know? Fuck you, Ron. Come on. You're supposed to be a Marie champion. Alright, I need to turn on Gyro. I think I have to leave. You have to leave the game to turn on Gyro. Callie was a mistake. It's just, it's sad because one of them is going to get their feelings hurt. One of the Squid Sisters is going to end up crying or something, and it's going to be sad. Motion control's on. Okay. There we go. I don't want to use that gun anymore, either. I want to use, uh... Uh... How do you change... Oh, there we go. I wish Ron would stop dropping the ball, though. Seriously. He's he's god a goddamn detriment to the whole team. Um... Is this thing good? Yeah, it's pr pretty good. I want this one. Wait. I want one with the Ink Zooka. Ink Zooka is my favorite thing. Not Ink Zooka, Ink Strike. Ink Strike is my favorite thing. Because it lets you get a bunch of points f for doing no work at all. Eh, I'll just use that. That's fine. That thing's got the Ink Strike and a sprinkler. Okay. We're good. Let's keep going. All right, let's do it. This game is for babies anyway. It's just got a bunch of cartoon octopuses in it. This is a dumb, stupid baby game. Oh, we got Dark Bomber. We got Dark Bomber, guys. Dark Bomber. And we're all fanboys and fangirls, so this is great. I just, I don't understand how people can think Callie is better. I, I don't know. I don't know how people can think that. She's just not, she's just not as good. She's just not as good. She's too happy. She's like, she, she hasn't experienced any trauma or suffering in her life. So she's sheltered from the real world. She's too sheltered and I don't like it. She's a happy-go-lucky, ditzy clown. She's a goddamn Kukus Maximus. Oh, I hate this level. Why would they pick this level? I hate this level! Oh, we're gonna win this one. 
Alright, now I can aim. Don't worry, guys. I got this. I got this, guys. Don't worry. I'll hold down the fort. I'll hold down the fort, baby. Just everyone else go out of here. Go out of here, go. Go to the enemy, bo enemy base, baby. Let's go. I don't care. I don't care at all. And none of this matters. We're all gonna die anyway. Who cares? Who cares who wins this Splatfest? We're all gonna die. Who cares who wins this Callie or Murray? We're all gonna be dead in the ground and buried someday. It doesn't even matter. You dead and the bugs are gonna eat you. Bugs are gonna eat your eyeballs and it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter who wins the Splatfest because you're gonna be dead someday anyway. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Okay, uh, let's keep climbing, uh, climbing up the enemy base. I'm apparently the best player on my team now, because I already have 376 points, so... This doesn't matter, someone will kill you. Doesn't matter. You'd be, in, you'd be out having a great time and playing Splatoon, and then you're dead, you're dead, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. Let's do this for real, though. For real, though. This one's for Harambe. Team Harambe. They should have done a Splatfest for... Who was in the wrong? Harambe or or the parent or the, the, the parents of the child or Harambe. That's what they should have done. Guess who I would have voted for? The parents of the child. The one that didn't kill a fucking gorilla. I mean the the one who was in the wrong, the one who did kill the fucking gorilla. Squids out for Harambe. Do you guys think that... Do you think that Callie and Marie are... Do you think that they... What do you think they think about Harambe? Uh-oh. Yo, we are fucking dominating them this game. Is Callie even trying? Callie has enlisted a bunch of baby two-year-olds. She's... She's enlisted two-year-olds. To be on her... To... To, to be in her army. There are literal infants playing on the other team right now. Literal two-year-old fetuses. Two-year-old fetuses are playing on the on the Cali team. These are the type of people who, who play as, who like Cali. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, and I I will not have it. Do you guys remember that video of the of the kid who's like, stop calling me a homo. Everyone started calling me a homo. Because someone called me and I'm a homo and I will not have it! <laughs> do, you do you remember that video? <laughs> oh, Shimata. That's a classic. That's a classic. Stop calling me a homo! Wow, good job, Kelsey. Oh, and two. That's why girls aren't allowed to play goddamn video games. If you keep calling me a homo, you're gonna be sorry. Didn't he say that? Didn't he say that? That you're gonna be sorry? That's a threat. It's a threat, kid. Why would you do that? I'm so glad I didn't put, like... I wasn't his age when the internet was around. Why wouldn't... You know what I would have done for the last Splatfest? Is I would have done all the original maps with, that the game shipped with. It's strange that they're ending the Splatfests. I've talked about that before, but they seem like a relatively low... Low maintenance thing. You know, like the Wii U doesn't have anything coming out anymore, you know? You'd think they'd want to just like... Keep doing what they can do. It's like, if this keeps people turning on their Wii U's, then why not just, you know, keep doing it? Just do one for... for... I don't know. They should... they should decide the presidential election with a Splatfest. Tell me that's not a good idea. I can't think of any negative thing that could... Oh, we're fighting against Sans? Oh, from, from under, Underbone? You mean Ness? Sans is Ness, guys. Did you know that? I mean, I get that they're, I get that they're dropping, uh, 
I get that they're dropping the Wii U, but this just seems like it's such an easy thing to do, and it just keeps people... It keeps people talking about Nintendo, you know? I know they have Pokemon Go, and that's great, but I don't think a lot of people realize how little Nintendo has to do with Pokemon Go. Nintendo doesn't, like... Nintendo owns a big share of the Pokemon company, and that's basically it. That's as far as it goes. Do you ever wonder why Pokemon stuff never shows up in, like, Animal Crossing? Or Mario Kart? Or Nintendo Land? It's because Nintendo doesn't fucking control anything that the Pokemon company does, basically. It's like a miracle that we got their costumes in Mario Maker, and it's even more of a miracle that they're in Smash Brothers. Oh my god, we're just nuking them! Holy shit! See, I have another theory. What if at the end of this Splatfest, the losing Squid Girl gets so angry that she breaks up the Squid Sisters? She's like, I'm done. I'm going solo. And that sparks Splatoon 2. Like, you know, like, like the, the plot of Splatoon 2 will be getting the Squid Sisters back together. The band's reunion. This is going great. Who the fuck cares? Denny, get this guy out of my base! Holy shit, what are you doing in my base, son? This song is so good. I love this song. Ah! Oh my god, we're dominating. Guys, if Team... If Team Cali wins this, then they clearly cheated because, you know... Look at how much I'm winning. There's no way Team Cali can beat can be me. I'm the best. Gotcha, baby. Why don't I play this game more often? This game's fucking fun as hell. Now I'm like regretting skipping other Splatfests. This is so fun. I love Splatoon. This was such a good game. Like such a creative, fun game. I haven't used my my weapons at all, and I have a sprinkler. I forgot about it. Use it on their spawn, baby. Force them into the spawn. Ke Team Cali cannot survive. Ow! This is great. This is fine. We're fucking destroying them. I still would like it if you didn't have to use the gamepad to play this game. The gyro aiming is great, though. I'm a huge fan of gyro aiming in, like, everything. I can't believe Sans is is this bad at Undertale. I mean, it's... <laughs> I didn't even, say, didn't even need to say Undertale. Sans sucks it at fucking Splatoon. Ness, Ness is terrible at, at Splatoon. Bam, baby. Fuck you, Team Cali. You guys suck dick. Yo, maybe y'all should get a better squid sister, you hear me? Sans. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Sans. How far along am I in Monster Hunter Generations? I'm doing five star quests right now, and I did... I almost finished the one-star quests with Toaster Man today. Um, what's happening here? Are we going to disconnect? Yep. Alright, that's fine. It's fine. To be expected. Splatoon. It's Nintendo. To be, su to be suspected. Now we got Melissa. Uh, I'm gonna play this squid racing game on my on my gamepad pro except instead of reading chat I won it I won the race put in wins the race put in wins the race put in wins the race I also have another fun game that I want to stream after this that I found it's uh I don't know it could be really bad but there's one other game that I found, and it looks like it could be funny. I just, I can't imagine a scenario where Callie wins this. I just can't. It's like, it, it just doesn't seem likely to me at all. 
You could say that maybe I just think that because I like Cat, uh, I like Marie more, but I feel like even just like the general the general opinion on these Squid Sisters is that Callie sucks a huge schlong, you know. Contrary to what I've been saying, I actually like both the Squid Sisters, and I think it's really fucked up that this is the last Splatfest. I think it's really mean. I think this is just a mean-spirited Splatfest. Because someone's gotta lose! Someone has to lose, and it's just mean! It's like, what is, like, that forever one of the Squid Sisters is going to be labeled as less popular than the other, you know? This is disappointing. It's disappointing to me. It just, I just, I've been shitting on Callie as like, you know, just a bit of banter, you know? It's like, a little bit of bants. Uh-oh, we're gonna lose this game. Maybe if Kohai wasn't so bad at this game, and this one guy whose name is just a fucking jumble of characters, like he didn't even care to name himself. Alright, I'm gonna sneak over to their territory, and I'm gonna fucking ink their, ink the shit out of them. King. What does that say? King? of the final... I can't even read that. Oh, you fucking ninja pig! You goddamn ninja pig. Callie's video on Nintendo's channel has more views. Yeah, she uses she uses bots. Everyone knows that. Callie viraled her, her videos on AOL.com. She sent them out in chain emails to grandmas. Speaking of grandmas, my grandma told me today that she saw in the news that someone caught all the Pokemon in Pokemon Go. And I was, I'm, I said, Grandma, that's a lie. They're lying on the news. And she said, no, they said it. And I said, Grandma, some of the Pokemon are not available yet. That person was lying on the news. And she said, no, but they said it on the news. And I'm like, God damn it. They're spreading misinformation about Pokemon. Did someone catch a Mewtwo and a Ditto and a Farfetch? Because as far as I know, those Pokemon aren't in the game yet. Wow, I'm doing shit right now. You think someone would do that? Go on the news and just lie? Eh, we might win this. We did. We weren't gonna win it, but now I think we might win it. Because we, we scared the Calamites into submission by our having a better girl. I wonder if, if Callie and Marie... No, I was thinking maybe Callie and Marie would end up being the playable characters in the next Smash Brothers game, but it'll probably just... They'll probably be assist trophies. We lost that one. Oh, shit! Get fucked, Callie! Holy shit, dude! Calamites. Yeah! There's the Mariners and the Calamites. Can you not hatch a Farfetch'd? I've never seen anyone with a Farfetch'd. I've never seen a Farfetch'd or a Ditto or the Legendary Birds or Mew or Mewtwo. I don't know how I won that one. Power of the better girl, I guess, you know? Farfetch'd is an Asia exclusive? Really? I, I heard rumors that Taurus was a was a North American exclusive. I can confirm that, that I saw a Taurus on my nearby radar the other day, but I couldn't find it. I won that one, guys. I'm the only one on this goddamn earth doing anything for, for, for Marie. If Marie doesn't... In the, in the victory speech, if Marie doesn't personally congratulate me, I'm going to be pissed. Pfft, thunder 21. Yo, more like Blunder 21. Speaking of Thunder, um, if I just disappear, if I just completely disappear, there's apparently some storms out tonight. So that'll mean that I got struck by lightning and my house is on fire. Speaking of fires... I've seen some spooky pictures. Toaster Man posted one, and I saw a couple other ones. People have been posting some really fucking scary pictures of the skies. Like, like, red, red death skies that look like oblivion gates are nearby. It's very spooky. To all of you who live near the, the fires, be safe. 
maybe God wouldn't be punishing you with the fires if you were on Team Marie, but, you know. That's what you get for living in California. You get... That was, that was good. That was fucking good. That was, holy shit, that was good. Well, Michael, you're really cool as great joke. Ah! all live in Marie, Massachusetts, like me. They should do Splatfests to, to decide all sorts of, like, controversial topics. Like, legalizing gay marriage in certain states. Just have it- ha have a Splatfest for it, you know? I mean, clearly that's not something that's, that's, you know, a problem anymore. But, like, drugs, alcohol, murder. There's like trials, like like heavy trials and stuff, you know? I'm thinking of, it's funny, like you think of controversial to topics and the first thing you think of is gay marriage, but now it's like that's not a problem anymore. I still think the presidential election would be best solved with a Splatfest, and they're just giving up on the Splatfest. It's like, why? You guys have, it's a gold mine. The Splatfest market is a gold mine. Does God exist? A Splatfest. Is there a heaven? Splatfest. Oh shit. We're gonna we lost this one by a fucking landslide. Maybe if my team wasn't so incompetent. The doctor said I was important so I can have a baby. I'm very sorry to hear that. Man. Ah, shit. Shit. How could- how could Callie win? Clearly this entire match has just been a fucking farce. It's been a goddamn lie. This whole match has been a lie. Oh, you're gonna f get fucked, kid. Who cares? We're gonna lose. We'll all die anyway. We're all dead anyway. Who cares? Wow, that was a crushing defeat. Like, like possibly one of the worst Splatoon defeats that has ever been witnessed by a man. Look at that. Look at how horrible that is. Maybe if Melissa would stop falling down and dropping her goddamn bucket on her head. Melissa got no kills. This team is- this team is baloney. I gotta drop out of this. These guys suck dick. Who I'm trying to say. Is that- Chad Warden. Suck dick. I'm trying to say. Super Smash Brothers. WarioWare. We're like WarioWare. Shove it up your own ass game. WarioWare. Shove it up your own ass game. Wait, why are we fighting against Marie's? Oh my god, you know why we're fighting against Marie's? Because there's just not goddamn enough Callies. There is not enough Callies. Because nobody fucking likes Callie. <laughs> I almost I almost feel bad. I almost feel bad for Callies because they gotta know. They gotta know. Somebody, you're a Calamite, right? You gotta know. You gotta know that you're in the minority, right? You gotta know you're fighting a losing battle, right? Right? <laughs> you gotta know it. Like, there's no way you can be that oblivious to the fact that you're on the losing side. Also, this goddamn color scheme is my favorite color scheme in the game. It makes me think of, like, grapefruits. I love it. It doesn't even matter who wins this game because we're all- it, this is just a celebration of Cali. I mean of Marie. I almost tricked you there by saying Cali. I 
It's kind of fucked up that they're named after, like, fried squids. Like, they are squids. That's like if you named- if you had two- two human sisters and they were named human and meat. Like, human meat. <laughs> oh, they're kind of fucked, dude. Get me out here. Oh, shit! Did I get my sprinkler out at least? I'm Callie's spy. Don't even joke. I haven't done this once. Look, you can warp to the enemy to the enemy teammates. Shimata. Speaking of Shimata, um, I'm going to. I've, I've mentioned this. I'm going to school in the fall to work towards finishing a bachelor's degree because I haven't gotten a bachelor's degree and I kind of want one just because. One of the classes that's offered is like Japanese history, right? But at the end of the course, there's a 10-day trip to Japan, guys. I'm gonna take that class, and I'm gonna go to goddamn Japan for 10 days. Because it's not a long trip, and it's like if I don't like it, it's not like you're there forever. But guys, I could go, and if I like it, then I could leave and never come- I could never come back to- to America, and I could stop streaming and I'd never have to see you fuckers again. I could just live in Nippon with the god with my goddamn anime, and I wouldn't have to see any of you fuckers ever again. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, we're gonna lose this one too. Holy moly! Holy moly! Well, maybe I just saved the day there. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, we lost. Uh, maybe no, no, we lost. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we lost. Guys, it's not because I'm a weeb. I just think that it would be an extremely cultural experience, and it would be enjoyable to experience a world outside of my norm and comfort zone. You know, that's all. That's the only reason. How's the game volume, by the way? I probably should have asked that before I started. It looks like it's good. Yep, yeah, we're gonna lose connection again. When does this end? It ends tomorrow morning, right? Oh look, battle again. Okay. Oh, they're all gone. They all left me. Oh, well. At least we got... Oh, Marie's on my team. The Marie? Angel Marie Dubarius? I'll talk about my Mario theory, which isn't a theory, it's a fact. I'll talk about it after this, because I currently have microphone delay on and all that stuff. And it would be difficult to do. I need to be at my computer to do that. I can't believe THE Marie is on my team right now. She's Marie Queen Marie. Abby Mark Con Look, Callie didn't even goddamn show up to her own war. Marie showed up, Callie didn't. Callie sent Abby in her place. I fucking am so sick of this goddamn map. I'm sick of it. My air conditioning is on also because it's really fucking hot and humid out. So if you hear humming, not like not like me humming, like <laughs> but if you hear like a that's what it is. Also, speaking of I heard the the Sonic live stream the other night like last last night, last morning. I don't fucking know. Last morning. <laughs> I heard the Sonic stream was a fucking disaster. I heard that it was just like a nightmare. Ah! I heard it was goddamn horrible. I kind of wish I'd seen it, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad I didn't. 
I mean, I guess we could talk a little bit about that. I just can't really read your opinions. Um, I think that Sonic Mania looks fucking awesome. Um, Sonic Mania looks great. It, I, I'm not, I'm still not entirely sure what it is. Like, it looks like it's a compilation game with some levels from the old games and some new ones. But either way, it looks great. Um, that's exactly what I like in a retro game, you know, it, it looks, it's, it's just, it looks really good. And the music is fucking awesome. Um, I'm a little disappointed that it's taking so long to come out. Um, you'd think with, with Sonic 2017 being over a year out, they would want to, like, I don't know, maybe try to push this to come out a little sooner, but it's, it doesn't sound like it's coming out till spring 2017, which sucks. Um, but, yeah, I'm really excited for Sonic Mania. Um, in terms of Sonic 2017, I'm actually not as hyped for that, just because, and I loved Sonic Generations. I think Sonic Generations was, well, it's just, that's just a working title for it, Sunbunny, don't worry. Um, in terms of, I, I liked Sonic Generations a lot, but by putting classic Sonic in this game, it, it almost feels like it cheapens what made Generations so, so special. Like, it was cool seeing Sonic and, and Classic Sonic together in a game. And it was like a time travel thing, and that was the, the reason they were working together, was because there was like a time rift or whatever. Um, I thought that was cool. But putting Classic Sonic in another game just makes me kind of feel like, oh, they're like, oh, people love Generations, we gotta do it again. It's like, if you're gonna make Generations 2, just make Generations 2. Don't just put Classic Sonic in a, in a regular game just to have them there, you know? I don't know. I, I'm not as excited about it because I think it it just looks less and not at less ambitious, but just less creative. I don't know. I mean, we've barely seen anything of the game, so that's not fair of me to say. But you know, you know what I mean. I just don't think that Classic Sonic should be in it it's, if it's not going to be Generations Two. It's like why turn him into a regular cast member? That's stupid. Ah, uh, we lost that one, too. The goddamn Callies are on beaver tranquilizers, guys. Uh, yeah, Abby on Team Cali just t tested positively for a low-grade beaver tranquilizer. God damn it, Bernice. But Nintendo has been making the same 3D and 2D Mario games for the past seven years. That's a completely different thing. I'm not saying that it's the same game. I'm saying the theme of the game is the same. It's like putting... It's it's like every Sonic game has had somewhat of a unique theme to it. You know? And I feel like putting Classic Sonic back in the... I'm not saying it's going to be a bad game by any stretch. It could be a great game. I just think it cheapens the, the specialness of Sonic Generations by putting Classic Sonic in another game. Dolores! Dolores! Ugh. I mean, you guys know I don't like Sonic, so I mean, if if, <laughs> if that's something that upsets you, I don't like Sonic to begin with. So, um, you know, this is a this is a known fact. This is why people hated my Sonic speed my S Sonic speed runs so much because I bitched about Sonic so much. But I'm not gonna. Not gonna change my opinion on that. Like Sonic, like Sonic, like Sonic! But yeah, Sonic Sonic Mania looks great. I'm very excited for that. Oh shoot. Get me out of here, baby. Just get me out of here, fucking baby. Let's go, baby. I can't believe Callie's beating me with these goddamn beaver tranquilizers. It's bullshit. It's actual busha. They think they can do this to me? They think they can do this to me and my base? To my waifu? I, I don't think so. I don't goddamn think so. Have you guys caught any of the Vine Sauce Charity stream so far? Joel's, uh, fucking... His fucking Windows 10 destruction thing with the fucking... Forum of people who get sexually attracted to ice cubes. 
and how they were making ice cubes with, in quotations, milk. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. Holy shit. It was so good. Um, I really, I, I'm very, very happy about what they're doing. I don't want to put a damper on any of this, because I'm having fun. But I actually know a very, very sad story regarding childhood cancer that happened to a family friend. And it was just, it was very heartbreaking. And whenever I hear about stuff where people are helping out with childhood cancer, it just, it really makes me happy. Um, so I'm really, really glad that they're doing that. I almost didn't stream tonight because I didn't want to take attention away from anything. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna definitely host whoever's... Whoever's doing, whoever's currently streaming, I'll definitely host them when I'm done, because, you know. And I'd honestly rather you guys be over there watching them than watching me right now. So if you're not interested in Splatoon, or dumb fucking PC games that I found, one dumb PC game that I found, go go watch them instead. I got the missile. I used the missile. I was waiting for the opportune cover moment to use it. Don't worry, guys. I know what I'm doing. Guys, I have 670 points. I'm fine. I can't believe Marie is doing this poorly. She's, she's... I'm beginning to think this Marie I have on my team is a goddamn imposter. We're gonna fucking lose again. I can't, I can't really... I'm starting to feel like maybe Callie's team may have more than just infants on it. Now, this is something I can't prove, but, you know, I, I can accept one loss in a row, but this will be, like, my third loss in a row, and I'm starting to get a little concerned. Not gonna lie. Starting to get a little bit concerned. It's clearly not Marie that's doing poorly. You know, M Marie still is the best girl, but maybe her, her warriors aren't up to snuff. Maybe I'm just not good enough. Okay, well... Wait, we might have won that. No, that, that fucking Ink Zooka on our base. Well, it was, wasn't very close. Wasn't very close. <sighs> Did I see the Kong trailer? What are you talking about? Donkey Kong? Or do you mean King Kong? Are they making another new King Kong? What the fuck are you talking about? Actually, come to think of it, that's gonna sound really fucking weird because of the of the microphone delay. <laughs> it'll probably play back, like it'll probably play and then play again in 0.8 seconds. A new King Kong, King Kong versus Godzilla. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! <laughs> I'm sorry. I just clicked on something. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sans is back! Sans is back! Oh my god, how loud was- that was very- <laughs> Very loud. <laughs> Oops. 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 I really didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. I clicked a link. I clicked a link that was on my desktop and I forgot that my settings are different because I'm playing on the on the Wii. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to put a fucking warning on the YouTube video because of that. I feel bad. Despite my laughter, I actually feel bad about that. I did not mean to do that. God damn it. Are you fucking sorry? I am. I'm very sorry. Oh no! Ah! Oh. Dobarius, don't, don't warp towards me. I'm in a danger zone.
<laughs> I almost think it's really funny that the, the sound it ended up being, that very loud sound that I clicked on by accident, ended up being the fucking screaming orgasm guy. <laughs> I can't think of a more fitting sound for that to be. I can't believe Sans is back. I'm so goddamn sick of this skeleton. And this is why I gave Splatoon to the Pope, you know? This is why. I didn't even notice I got a goddamn Fruit Loop on my team. That's his name, Fruit Loop. I'm warping over to this boy. It was an accident. I would never, ever play a fucking screamer by, like, on purpose. I think they're fucking obnoxious. See what I? Oh wow, these guys are fucking destroying us. All right, I can't play with these guys anymore. They they suck dongles. Is Sans Cali? Is Sans Cali and she's like spy on our team and fucking ruining everything? Oh wait, Sans is on the other team, right? Never mind. Sans could still be Cali, but he just wouldn't be a spy. I'm sick of these. I'm sick of this world. They're using goddamn lag switches, guys. I'm switching guns after this too. I can't I can't be doing with this. It's time to bring out the big guns. Anyone who's into the Splatoon meta, what is the most OP gun? How did how did that happen? Come on. Dolores! The neighbors come in and I'm screaming in the middle of the night, Dolores! Dolores! That was a crushing defeat. Crushing defeat. The paint plower. The arrow spray. The poison spray. Hit! Take that poison spray, boy! Well, I'm quitting this game. You guys are gonna have your minds blown by this fucking Mario discovery. Let me tell you. Clearly I can't do it because that's what it sounds like when I play audio out of my computer right now. It's too loud. I need to play audio out of my computer. Uh... Hmm. I kind of feel like using a roller. I'm gonna use this one. This one has the ink zuka. Use this one. The roller. I don't care what the most OP weapon in the game is. I'm gonna use this gold roller. GOLD ROLLER DA! You're at a rest stop on your phone because your car's tire is flat, and you've been waiting for help for two fucking hours. I was in that boat a couple weeks ago, and it was not fucking fun. No, it's it's something that I've never seen anyone say before about the Mario thing. I know I know most Mario trivia, but this is something that I think could change the world. Wow, well, my name is Rankin Bass. I'm a level 50 Cali champion, and I'm here to teach you scrubs who the best girl is. Cali has Jesus on her team, did she? I didn't see Jesus. Let me see. None of those guys is named Jesus. Oh, this weapon's slow as malarkey. Covers a lot of ground, though. Look at this. Doing fucking donuts, baby. Guys, do you think that if I was in the Splatoon world... Do you think if I was in the Splatoon world, Marie would date me? Guys, okay, my theory may or may not have something to do with Undertale, okay? It may or may not have to do with the fact that Luigi is Sans. I'm just kidding, it, it's not. Aw, oh, shit! 
Come on, Matt. No, she wouldn't date me? What the fuck is... Why not? Why not? See, you say no, but yet you do not supply a good reason why not. Okay? Maybe you said, okay, Marie wouldn't date you because you're an ugly sack of shit. Okay, then maybe that would hurt my feelings, but maybe it would also supply me with, with avid... And, and, you know, reasoning why why what you say would be true. Oh, what? Lag switch! Lag switch! They're using a goddamn lag switch. Denny! Denny, are you are you fiddling with the wires? Because she's a celebrity. Guys, I have 2,000 Twitch followers. I'm essentially on the same level as Ali and AJ. I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's go. Grenade! Grenade! Oh, I thought I was gonna kill that guy. You gotta yell grenade before you throw a grenade. Oh, fuck! No! I didn't mean to do that right there. Who are Ali and AJ? Literally who? See? I'm more famous than them. Oh, you suck. I had the bigger roller. Andrew, you're, you're holding the fort out there. I, I appreciate you. I'm clearly more famous than Ali and AJ. So Marie would date me. Fuck you. You goddamn assholes have no goddamn idea what you're talking about. We lost that one too. What? Is I'm starting to see something, guys. There is one common factor between all of these games, and it's me. Maybe I'm the reason we're losing. I don't like that gun either. I need to switch guns again. I need to switch guns again. All right, okay. Would Emily Osment date me? Okay, would Emily Osment date me? If I could help her get the cap off. Because I had a big crush on her. Uh, let's see. I could settle for Emily Osment. She's not Marie, but I could settle for her. Maybe, I'm getting a maybe from the chat, maybe. No. No. Her boobs are too big. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. She was- she was the best friend on Hannah Montana. You fucks. How could you not know who she was? I can't get the cap off! Stop with these 2000s Disney chicks. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I just looked over at my other monitor and I see the fucking video <laughs> that screamed at you guys and I feel bad. <laughs> oh. What uh what what other 2000s Disney girls were there that are that are no longer relevant? I'm trying to think. Like I was going to say Raven, but she's still kind of around, I guess. Who's, uh, who's another one that dropped off the face of the earth? What about, uh, what about Raven's friend? Well, I don't even remember her name. Whoever she was. Check your phone, you dangus. Where's my phone? My phone is under my microphone. Oh, boy. We have a message from Sun Bunny. She, she's just sent me a video of her throwing her Marie doll down the stairs. And I'm, I'm livid. I am livid right now. This, this game, you see, what you just don't realize is that your plan just backfired. Because by sending that to me, you've, you've enraged me. And I've now entered beast demon mode. See that? That would not have happened if I was not in demon mode. 
I am now approximately 420% stronger. And I can accomplish things that I could not before. You didn't even talk about- You put a rosary on Kali? I didn't even see- <laughs> I closed it before you did! You put a rosary on Kali? <laughs> I didn't even see! I closed it because the game started. Shit! Did it burn after you put on it? Put it on her because she's the Antichrist? Kali is the Antichrist confirmed. This gun fucking rocks, dude. Now that I'm in beast demon mode, nothing can stop me. I'm a writer. Team Cali fucking sucks. Good luck, everyone. Fuck off. You know what good sportsmanship is gonna get you? Nothing. Speaking of good sportsmanship, have any of you ever been to a child's sporting event because I went to my little cousin's baseball game the other day because it was his last game and for some reason that kid likes me and looks up to me and I told him I would go to his, one of his baseball games so I went to his last baseball game the other day these, these parents are ridiculous this kid is 8 years old these kids are 8 years old and they're just goddamn ridiculous I can't stand it they're acting like this is the goddamn Olympics or like a fucking professional sporting event. And I'm like, these kids are eight. They're eight years old. They're gonna drop the ball sometimes. Like Christ on a cross. It pisses me off to no end that these parents get so riled up about an eight-year-old sporting event. It's like, go fuck yourself, Mr. Jones. Come on, Kyle, what are you doing? Kyle! He was safe! There was one kid on the game. There was one kid in the game, and I don't know if he was just like always playing or if he had a million family members, but everyone, like every five minutes, I heard someone go like, Come on, Keegan! Let's go, Keegan! Let's go, Keegan! Come on, Keegan! Let's go, Keegan! You're the best, Keegan! You're the best! Alright, I almost got a thousand points that time, and we're still gonna lose. So, what does that say about my team, huh? Oh, that was close. That was close. Keegan! 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 Oh no, we got another video from somebody. <laughs> that one, I turned it down that time. I turned it down that time. I turned it down that time. I got another video from Sunbunny. Oh, she's, she's, there are scissors. There are scissors in front of Marie. And Callie is, <laughs> Callie is holding the scissors. <laughs> Oh, she's putting the rosary on, on Callie this time. Okay, maybe this is the video I didn't see last time. And she, yeah, okay, then Marie goes down the stairs. All right. That was- I turned it down, though. It needs to be, like, a quarter of that volume. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Why the fuck am I losing? We were doing so well earlier. Because I'm stuck with these goddamn clowns on my team. These goddamn goofuses. These goddamn Kukus Maximuses are on my team. And I can't win because I can't do anything when my team has has this poor skills. These goddamn Kukus Maximuses, I swear to god. Boy, I swear to god. Y'all about to enter a whole world of hurt here. Oh fuck, they just unleashed the apocalypse on us. I'm a one squid ink apocalypse.
that was road pod like cephalopod do you get it like it was like a like if if roadhog was a character in this game he'd be road pod and he'd say i'm a one squid ink ink inkpocalypse fire the missile this guy's on fire he's he's got a super move i should have seen that coming hop 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 up oh, oh, please the fucking clutch get fucked son did you see that that was brutal guys i'm on fucking fire right now they can't com they can't compete the team marie has has imbued me with her fighting spirit her sassiness has led me to this point. Yeah, no, you're not firing the missile today. Sorry, Marie's spirit is inside of me. I have bad news to anyone who had a bad dream last night. It was Souls Deceived, and you are now part of a demon family. Sorry, he got inside you. A demon family. Whatever the fuck I just said. Uh, we're still gonna lose though, even though I'm I'm clearly doing well this game. Like I'm not not trying to bloot my own horn, but I'm clearly doing pretty well this game, and we're still gonna lose. All right, I need to not play with these guys anymore. I'm getting fucking memed on so hard by Team Cali right now. Guys, please start pulling your weight. Look at this. Unacceptable. If Marie loses the Splatfest, I'm going to write a letter to every single person I've played with tonight and yell at them. I'm going to be like, what the fuck was your problem? Have you not heard of getting good, you stupid fucking assholes? I'm not going to lose this time. I think, no, we're definitely going to lose this time. We have 10 seconds. Yeah, this is not happening. I could warp to them, but I want to kind of get as many points back here as I can. Wow, that was terrible. <sighs> I think Sun Bunny's right. We all lose with this Splatfest. Win or lose. You know, someone's going to get their feelings hurt. Harambe's still dead. It's just, it's a mess. It's a mess. Christian Splatfest idea. God versus Satan. See, that's what I was talking about earlier, guys. That's what I was talking about. I'm actually enjoying playing this a lot, though. Like I've been playing it for an hour now, and I'm I'm still I'm still happy. I'm still happy. I said I was gonna leave these guys, and I'm still playing with them. At least we got Ovald Vocal now. Thank God, he's got a star in his name, so you know he's good. Splatfest idea. Hamtaro and Bijou versus Boss and Bijou. Oh, that would make me angry, Sun Bunny, because if anyone voted for the Boss and Bijou one, I'd have to have a word with them. Why didn't they do an Undertale Splatfest? You know, like... Like, the, the options would be this game is epic, or this game is, is, is amazing. Like, the two options would just be, like, exactly the same. I don't know. I was, I don't really have anywhere to go with that joke. I couldn't think of anything funny to say other than a Splatfest based on Undertale. That would have been a great finale, though, you know? Like, take something that's so great that even the Pope loves it. Like, the Pope-approved video game. And just, like, just make it into a Splatfest. Because, you know, everybody loves Undertale. Best game ever made, goddamn. It's the best goddamn video game ever made. That guy just dropped his ink nuke exactly where I did. Thus negating both of our ink nukes. Ink nukes. Oh, I forgot about the remote control robot bombs. I love those. I think my favorite gun had that and an ink, ink strike. What, what weapon has both the remote control homing bombs and an ink strike? Because that was the weapon that I used. Ugh. Matt.
Splatfest, Splatfest, Allie or AJ? Splatfest, Zach or Cody? Can you imagine? Okay, so the Pope sits down to play Undertale. Under some, like, weird circumstances, he actually does it, okay? Because there's no way he's actually gonna fucking play Undertale. But if he did... Okay, so just imagine this. The Pope sits down to play Undertale, and he's like, Alright, this guy said this was the best video game ever made, and it's, it's about unifying people, and it's about good-heartedness and happiness, okay? He sits down to play this game. He has no idea about any, like, previously existing video game tropes or whatever, which that whole game depends on people being previous fans of video games to understand anything that it's saying, but... So he sits down... And like, in the first 30 seconds of that game, not even, in the first 10 seconds of that game, there's a flower with like, a Satan face. And he says, kill. He says, kill, and die, and kill, and murder, and die, and he's got Satan's face. What do you think the Pope would think? What do you think the Pope would think if that was like, he, he went to play this game, and that's like, the first thing in the game you see? Like, like, what the fuck? Why would you give the Pope Undertale? I just, I don't, I, I'm not even gonna start talking about that. That genuinely makes me angry. I'm not even gonna start. I'm not even gonna start. Oh shit, come on. Alright, well, I, I need to switch weapons again. This is fucking, this is just a repeat of, of last night with, with Overwatch, or the night before. The Pope probably doesn't even fucking have a computer. What game would I give the Pope? Well, certainly not a Sonic game, that's for sure. I'd give the Pope maybe Tetris. Because, you know, Tetris is like a universal game that broke barriers. It broke barriers. It, it fucking is, was invented in Russia by some guy with a... I forget what nationality he was. And it's like... It, it, fuck, Tetris is like... Tetris is the ultimate sign of unification via video games. So yeah, if I had to give him a video game, I'd probably give him Tetris. If you want to make it like about some bullshit like unifying humanity or something like that, then yeah, Tetris is probably your best bet. Uh, what haven't I used yet? I've used regular guns. Ooh. I haven't used this bad boy. Let's use this bad boy, Denny. It is a good gun. Shut up. You have you don't even play this game. Denny is such an asshole. I need to fire Denny. Splat Tim is on the team. <laughs> That's a good meme. I like Splat Tim. I think the Pope would like Bayonetta. That's probably a good idea, too. That's the worst weapon in the game. It's him. Splat Tim. We got Splat Tim, we got Midna, and we got Yulia. He probably would like Honey Pop, too. I would just love, I would just love to have seen the Pope's face as that was trying to be explained to him what the Steam key was. You just uh, go on your computer and you uh, you open up a Steam. You have a Steam account, right? Yeah. You open up Steam and you uh, go down to the activate key button and you uh, just type this in. Then you'll get a free download link for uh, Undertale, the best game ever made. It would lead to world peace. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for meeting with me. I hope that you enjoy Undertale. And I hope you uh, speak about Undertale at the Vatican real soon. Thanks for uh, thanks for everything. Pichu. Pichu. Can you believe that there are people that wanted Pichu back in Smash Brothers? There are people who voted for Pichu in the Smash Brothers ballot. Can you can you imagine? Can you imagine that? 
Oh yeah. Now I'm now I'm playing with power. Look at this thing. This is the worst weapon in the game, they say. Fuck you. Look at this. How great this is. Sun Bunny, did you vote for Pichu in did you, Sun Bunny? Did you vote for Pichu in the Smash Brothers ballot? There were only a couple a couple votes that were acceptable in that ballot, and everything else was trash garbage. I still and I'm not saying this as an upset King K Rule fan. I still don't think Bayonetta won that ballot. I just, I didn't see anybody talk about Bayonetta. Like, yeah, you'd see the idea thrown around. I saw the idea thrown around before Smash came out. Like, when when Bayonetta was confirmed to be a, a Nintendo thing. Like, I thought, people, oh, yeah, she'll be in Smash. And I was like, okay. But then at, when, the, when the game was out and the ballot was a thing, I didn't see anybody talk about Bayonetta. I mean, we got Corrin. That's all I can ask for, you know? I was, you know... I was, I was hoping. I was hoping, you know. I was like, you know what this game needs? It needs Corrin. And I, for one, will not rest until Corrin is playable in Super Smash Bros. And, you know, if you ever need proof that God is real, there, no, look no further than Corrin's download page for Super Smash Bros. I, for one, I, for one, think that Corrin's inclusion in Super Smash Brothers is, that's what should have been given to the Pope. A key, a download key for Corrin's downloadable content. Because that would assume that the Pope already owns a Wii U and Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> and that he hasn't purchased Corrin yet. There you go. Don't even give him a game. Give him fucking Corrin's download code. This sucks. I suck at this game. This sucks! Oh shit, son! Get, up, get me out of this icky paint like goo, it's moving! I know I have my rocket. Rocket to launcher! Rocket to punch! Guys, what are you talking about this weapon being bad? This weapon's great. This weapon's awesome. And I think we won too. So... No, no, boys. Don't touch that stuff yet. It's a bad weapon, they say. Don't use it, they say. Well, guess what? I won with it, so... And look how cute that animation is. You can't get much cuter than that, except with Hamtaro. Then you can. Do people still play this game? I certainly don't. But I kind of am regretting not playing this game more. You know what I don't like about this game? The whole gear stat system because it doesn't do anything it's like yeah you'll increase your fucking damage by two percent and it's like you're still gonna get a kill with three shots either way i don't know i feel like to in order to actually feel the benefits of some of these boosts you'd have to have like all of your gear use these boosts i just don't like the, i like the idea of of customization in terms of your stats but i don't like the way that it was handled in this game did I see the new Brule yet? The latest Brule I saw was the music episode, and it wasn't that good. The words episode was one of my favorite episodes of the entire goddamn show. AJ! We don't have- where's Allie? Why is Allie not playing? AJ's playing and Ally's not, so what the fuck does that mean? Ally is on Team Marie. Which one was better? I don't even remember. Were they twins? I really don't remember anything about them except the fact that they were in a movie called Cowbells. 
and that sounds like a fetish pornography film about lactation. That's what it is. That's what it sounds like. Sounds like a goddamn lactation fetish film. One of the ones Denny's got in the closet. <gasps> they were cousins? So they're like fake sisters, like the Squid Sisters. Because the Squid Sisters aren't sisters either. The Squid Sisters are cousins, right? How do you come to that conclusion? It's called Cowbells! Guys! Guys, it's... Th that That's the first thing I would think of. Maybe I've been hanging out with Denny too much. Denny, do you have one of those videos called Cowbells? No, the other drawer. No, 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 not that one. No, down. Down, yeah. Cowbells. No, like, like, not bells, like, bells, like, as in a girl, like, with an E at the end. No? Huh. Okay. Were you, you were looking in the lactation folder? Okay, alright. Then he gets really defensive when you, when you talk about his pornography collection. Ah, oh, boy. I don't know, guys. Oh, shit. Guys, you were right. This weapon blows. Whoever told me this weapon sucks, you should have yelled at me harder so I wouldn't use it. I can't believe I'm using this goddamn baby weapon. I'm gonna switch to a bucket. Because I haven't used the buckets yet. How are the buckets in this game? They're just like shotguns, right? How did Tom get me? Fuck you, Splat Tom. Denny doesn't download download porn, he prints it out. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, well, maybe if you weren't in the room, you wouldn't have to hear us making fun of you. You know, you don't have to sit in here the whole time. You don't do anything. Laminate your porn so you can take it in the shower. There's an idea for you, Denny. Christ. Have we talked about the Sonic X Hello Kitty merch yet? Uh, is that a thing? Sonic's in, uh... Here's something we can talk about. I don't fucking understand Lego Dimensions, okay? Sonic's in Lego Dimensions now. Okay, these toy-to-life things are appealing to me. Or not that the Amiibo's appealing to me, but... These toy-to-life things are appealing... Because they're like crossovers of things that make sense, you know? Amiibos is video game characters, mainly Nintendo. Disney Infinity is Disney crossovers. Skylanders is like its own own characters, so whatever. But like, you know, Dis D D Lego, Lego Dimensions doesn't have any concrete crossover foundation. Now, I've seen the argument... But Lego is everything, Mike. Lego has sets for everything, so it makes sense. Yeah, okay, but in the context of a crossover, Lego can have as many individual sets as they want. They can have a Minecraft set, they can have a Simpsons set, they can have whatever. But when you put them all under one name, under the Lego Dimensions name, it's one name, right? This is like one crossover. I don't understand what Lego Dimensions is going for, okay? Crossovers usually have to have a theme oh god mommy mommy you came back mommy why did you leave uh crossovers usually have a theme right when you're doing stuff like oh batman versus superman it's two superheroes i want to see two superheroes i like fight i want to see these two superheroes fight when it's stuff like this the jetsons and the flintstones it's like okay these are two cartoon Two Hanna-Barbera Barbera, banana cartoons 
and I like them both. That's this could be fun, fun seeing them cross over. Smash Brothers, it's like all these video game characters coming together to fight. But with LEGO Dimensions, it's just whatever the fuck they could get their hands on. You know, it's like, what the hell does Portal and The Simpsons have to do with each other? Why on earth would anybody want a Portal Simpsons crossover? Like, what, what does that, what is that, like... I don't understand what the appeal of LEGO Dimensions is because it's just crossovers that nobody asked for. It's like, finally, at last, at last I can play in the Portal world as Scooby-Doo. It just makes no goddamn sense to me, and I don't like it. I don't get it. Scooby-Doo should be crossing over with other cartoons. That makes sense. But like, Portal? What the hell is Scooby-Doo doing in the same game as Portal? What the hell is Scooby-Doo doing in the same game as Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> what the hell is this? It's like a weird fucking weird ass shit is this? I don't- I don't care about any of your explanations, okay? I've seen- I've seen people try to defend LEGO Dimensions. I've seen people try to explain it to me. And I understand what you're saying, I do. It's- it's Lego sets, it's whatever. Lego has things for everything. It's fine. Some people are into it. I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's like... It's like having a crossover... Between Snoopy... It's like a Snoopy- have, have you ever like... Like a Snoopy... And... 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 I can't even think of anything weird. Snoopy's been in so many things. Hold on. It's like... Okay, new example. New example. Not Snoopy. Snoopy's... Snoopy's not. It's like a... It's like if you're at the store, and you see a, a bunch of dull bananas, right? And you're like, I wonder what would happen if these dull bananas did a crossover with my life as a teenage robot. That's what LEGO Dimensions is for me. It's taking two completely unrelated things that have no, no relation, they, nothing, nothing in common. No reason to ever want to see them crossed over and it's doing a crossover of them. And I don't understand it. It's like, yeah, let's, let's do a dull my life as a teenage robot crossover. Cause that's something people want. Don't get it. How much longer am I gonna stream Splatoon? Maybe like 20 minutes? I don't know. Had, wait, we lost? I thought I was gonna win that one. That's some busha, baby. A Seinfeld and Pokemon crossover. That's what LEGO Dimensions is to me, is a Seinfeld Pokemon crossover. I don't understand it. No, see, Teen Titans and Powerpuff Girls reboot crossover is actually happening. And that, to an extent, makes sense because they're both like superhero cartoons. You know, that, that at least makes sense, makes sense from a crossover perspective. I just don't get it. I don't get it, LEGO Dimensions. What is your... Why are you... What are your secrets? Tell me your secrets, LEGO Dimensions. Since when do you care? You were never- you were like the Mega Bloks kid, Denny. Go back to eating your ham sandwich, no one fucking cares. Christ on a cross. No, I don't have- the napkins are upstairs, go fucking get them yourself. Christ. This guy. This guy. Yeah, he better shut the fuck up. I've tried kicking him out, he won't leave. He has this spot under the stairs he calls the Denny Zone. And he's got a bunch of used napkins in it. And it's just, it's like, he... 
if you get if you go into it he tries to bite you I don't I don't understand it someone needs to do something about this man Someone, I just heard the little ping that comes up when someone turns use their super move. When when the Inklings are in, in Smash Brothers, what do you guys think their final smash is gonna be? I think it'll be the Ink Zuka. Not the Ink Zuka, I think it'll be the, the Ink the Ink Nuke. Wow, we're fucking getting destroyed this game. Holy shit. I personally feel as though I have been doing satisfactory in almost every single one of these games. So I, I'm blaming everything on the other teammates, to be cold, completely honest. If you want my 100% honest opinion, I think that these guys all just suck. They just suck donkey balls. I'm the only goddamn good player in this whole universe, so what's the point? Wait a minute! That's a troll! Ah, you fucking troll! Fucking sick of this world. I'm sick of this world. Can I warp to you? Let me warp to you. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Watch this. I'm gonna die as soon as I land. Uh, not as soon as I land, but I'm still gonna die. We all gonna die. This was pathetic. Why am I doing so good here if I was doing so bad in Overwatch? I wish you could see the map right now so you could see how wrong you are about doing good. At least I, personally, did well. I guarantee you. You're gonna love the way you look, I guarantee it. I guarantee you I'm the highest scorer on my team. I guarantee it. What is that? Seven oh. It doesn't even show wait, it doesn't show you how many how much inked a person did. I don't care about kills, I care about the ink. Doesn't show you that? I thought it showed inked percent. Hi guys, this is Splatoon inked percent. It's a great run. Lots of cool exploits. Uh, yeah, so I've been running this game for a couple months now. Got into speed running because my friend Denny jumped over a fence. And uh, I realized it was faster than walking around the fence. So, you know, I, I thought, how what else could I do more quickly? So I, I thought, you know, Splatoon multiplayer inked percent. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm hoping that I can show you guys some cool tricks uh, And you know, it's it's a casual speed run, but it's also it's a lot of fun So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna equip the arrow spray RG because this is the weapon that you want to use for ink percent uh, It's it's something not a lot of people will do in their casual runs I haven't played this game casually for 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 decades because you know you can't play it casually once you start when you start running it, but um, yeah. Uh, while we're in the lobby here, you got time for a quick donation or two. 
So uh, if you have any donations, you can read them out now. Thank you, thank you. Um, oh, we're going back to the lobby. That was an unfortunate bit of RNG. <laughs> That's an unfortunate bit of RNG. Uh, if you uh, got, any <laughs> got any more donations, you can read them out now. Because um, we're going to be in the lobby for a while. not that loud this time guys it's not that loud now it's not that loud now guys i i it, it's so quiet now denali that's like a female version of denny all right now uh i'm gonna need complete silence for this uh, this is what we like to call ink skip. It's the, uh, it's the first and only trick in ink percent. Now, this is a four-hour run, but if, if I pull this off correctly, I will be able to finish the run in only three minutes. So this is, this is something that was discovered recently by a man, um, one of the Japanese runners of the game. I think his name was Hot Spooky. Uh, he, uh, he's a great runner. He's really helpful to the community. Now, unfortunately, I got a bad bit of RNG there. Uh, the enemy Ivy sometimes will throw grenades at you. There's nothing you can really do about that to avoid it. So, uh, unfortunately, you know, there is a bit of RNG in the run. But this is something that, you know, it's, it's every runner's got to deal with this no matter what game. There's a lot of RNG in games. Um, it's not, it was, it was Hot Spook, not Hot Spunk. I'm sorry. Um, you know. Uh, he's, he was just really great. But, uh, yeah, so right here what I'm doing is a, is a thing I like to call turf splatting. Uh, it's something you can do to, uh, increase your, your chances of good RNG. Which is something a lot of, a lot of games don't have a way to influence RNG. But, uh, Splatoon does. And this is something, you know, you can increase your chances of good RNG by doing some turf splatting. It's, uh, it's pretty, it's a pretty easy technique. Uh, right here you're gonna see me kill this guy. Uh, that's something that, that a lot of players fuck up, uh, so it's something that I was really good at. Uh, shout out to the Simple Flips. Um, we got, we got time for a quick donation? No? No, okay. Uh, yeah, no time for donations right now. This is, I still need complete silence for this, sorry. Uh, unfortunately LeBron James is, uh, is pretty fucking good at this game. Uh, pretty fucking good at this game, uh. He's, he's one of the, the tougher opponents that you'll come across, but uh, fortunately I got the ink rocket there, which is a good bit of RNG. Um, so yeah, we, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy to be here at, at SGDQ this year. Uh, I've been watching the event, first time donator, long time watcher, first time runner, long time splatter, long time blinker, long time inker, uh, but you know, Sometimes you go over a thousand points and your team still sucks dongles. So this is something that's, you know, a bit of bad RNG. Can't do anything about the grenades, can't do anything about that, can't do anything about that. Uh, when it all comes, what it all comes down to is, is your heart. You know, is your heart in the game. And my heart's not in the game tonight. Gotta, I gotta be honest, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a bit down. Because, you know, uh, sometimes I just want to save those frames and I can't save them all. So I'm, I'm feeling kind of down, down about it tonight. But hopefully, uh... Hopefully by the end of this run, I'll be picking picking up the slack, and you know we'll be uh, be on our way, be on our way. All right, so that's a that's a bit of fucking bullshit RNG. It makes me angry. Um, yeah, we're gonna unfortunately have to do another round here. This is something that you know it happens to a lot of runners. Makes me kind of angry, but you know, um, got any? Yeah, we're gonna have to watch a long cutscene here. We got some time for some quick donations. The game is a bit loud compared to me. Well, I was leaning back in my chair, but I'll turn it down a little bit. Uh, we got some time for a quick donation or two if you want to read them out. Wow, alright, that was a big one. Big one, big donation. Big donation. Nice. Good job.
Good job. Now it's really quiet. <sighs> right, what, about, what about that? Justin. All right, unfortunately we got a bad bit of RNG there. Uh, the error to connect, that's called error skip. Um. All right. Thankfully, we teamed up with Ragu. <laughs> Thankfully, we teamed up with Ragu here. Ragu is a good bit of RNG. If you get Ragu, it ups your chances of survival by 45%. Uh, Ragu is one of the best, the best bits of RNG you can get in this run. Really, really good. Really good. I think that's worth a round of applause. We 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 pulled off the Ragu. So we pulled off the Ragu, guys. Really, really great. Really good run. Pizza Nomer. Pizza Nomer. Denny? Is that you? Oh, he's asleep. He's asleep. How much longer is this run? Uh That's it all de it all depends really. It all depends. All depends on the frames, you know. Uh I'd like to go let's see. I've been streaming for 1 hour and 39 minutes. I'm going to go to 2 hours in Splatoon. I think that'll be good. I'll be done in two hours. God, this weapon really is good. It builds up the fucking ink meter, like, super fast. I'm a lot closer to my mic now, so I should be louder. Maybe I should just start yelling. I really need a better microphone. This thing isn't that great. And I still need to move my computer onto the ground, too. I'm such a fucking mediocre streamer. I need to, I need to, to up, pick up the slack. This, I, it's, I've only been in the game for like 45 seconds and I already have 46 million points. Put down an ink mine. You they won't see it coming. Put down an ink mine. They won't see it coming. Oh shit, I got him! Fuck you, Pizza Nomer! Hey guys, welcome to the uh, Splatoon ASMR video. Uh, today we're going to be playing... Um, on kelp dome uh so make sure you get make sure you get uh make sure you get comfortable uh into your jammies and we're gonna have a great time tonight so my first uh first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull the r trigger very slowly very slowly gonna pull the r trigger this will allow us to uh this will allow us to get a maximum inkage um so I'm really, I'm really glad that you joined me tonight for Splatoon. Uh, friendly reminder that Marie is the best squid sister, and if you don't agree, you can get the fuck out of Dodge right about now. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'm in a really good mood tonight because I'm fighting for my imaginary squid waifu in hopes that she'll date me. That's the only reason. After this Splatfest is over, I'm going to go back to being a sad sack. Ah! Spaghetti! He definitely says spaghetti when you when you use the item. That's not something that I made up either. That's something a lot of people have noticed, right? Ah, oh, fuck you, squid girl. I remember I watched that anime back in high school. I thought I was pretty good when I was in high school. When I was a weeb. Remember when I was a weeb, guys? Remember when I didn't like... Remember when I liked anime, guys? Did we get it? Did we get the good RNG? Bottom of the team, baby. Bottom of the team, baby. Let's go.
This game is all fucking RNG. I don't know how anybody speedruns this game. Alright, why is my microphone not as loud as it should be? Is it because I'm just not in front of it? Maybe I should... Hold on. Properties. Uh... No, not properties. I feel like my microphone isn't as loud as it usually is. Filters. Let's turn this shit up to three. That should help. That should help a little bit. Guys, the Mario theory, which is not a theory, it's a truthy, is only going to last like three minutes. And it's really, it's really, it's it's something that's going to blow your goddamn, it's going to blow your goddamn brains out. I can't wait for this video to get claimed by Nintendo. I can't wait for this video to get claimed by Nintendo. I'm still gonna upload it, but Nintendo's gonna take all my- Look at that half-assed, fucking disgustingly bad graffiti. That's the type of shitters that are on the Cali team. They don't give a shit about supporting their team. They just write Cali in bad handwriting, and they think that's enough. They think that's enough. Well, I, for one, won't- will not have it. I will not have it! Oh boy. Guys, I watched a I I went to Sammy Classic Sonic Fans YouTube page yesterday and he posted a video recently and like something something happened. Like he's it's just he's very chill and mellowed out and he spent the whole video talking about his depression. And it's like what happened, dude? What happened, Sammy? Kind of sad. Mama! Come on! How did he react to Sonic Mania? I don't know. I'm not that big a Sammy Classic Sonic fan fan. And I, I really, that was the first time I've been on his page in like at least a year. He grew the heck up. But didn't he claim in his old videos that he was already, like, 16 years old? For some reason, that guy, Raphael, like, in my mind, he registered as an ally, so I didn't even, like, think about shooting him. I don't know why that was. He's using his goddamn mind controls techniques on me. Ink mines aren't aren't very good. I don't like ink mines. Fuck you. That's all I gotta say. Fuck you. Like Sonic, like Sonic, like Sonic, like Sonic, like Sonic. Ugh. This is a mess. Does this game have a competitive scene? You, ugh, you're asking the wrong person. I haven't played this in a long time. I don't, I don't keep up with this game at all. Despite how much I like it, I love this game. I'm a Marie defender, and that's good enough for me. We still got Ragu. We're doing great because we still got Ragu.
Can we go numero uno? Atsumina. That sounds like a bootleg Hatsune Miku. Atsumina. Oh, they got Boo Boo. Had me looking like Boo Boo the Fool. I saw a really, it was a really funny post the other day. Someone was like, it was like meant to be one of those deep, those deep posts and they were like, text them, they miss you too. Don't worry, it's like, don't worry about, don't worry about it, text them, they miss you too. And then someone else were like, this is not true. And then under that, someone was like, have me looking like Boo Boo the Fool. <laughs> have me looking like Boo Boo the Fool. You fucking telling me to text this person back, you having me looking like Boo Boo the Fool. Quiet out here. Too quiet. Team Cali is planning something nefarious. Admiral Bone to Pick. Captain Nefarious. Guys, real talk. General Grievous was cool looking. He might have been a dumb character, he might have had a dumb name. But General Grievous was cool looking. I liked him. I thought he was cool. Also, real talk, the battle droids were cool. I liked the battle droids. For as much shit as the, the prequels had in them, they had some good, they had some, some redeeming qualities. I liked the battle droids. And whenever I played Battlefront with giraffes, I'd always play as the fucking battle droids. And when when I heard that the battle droids weren't going to be in the new Battlefront, I was like, well, fuck it. I'm not playing it then. Fuck that. If you want to let me play as, as a super battle droid, go fuck yourself. If you want to let me play as a droid deca, go fuck yourself. I like the battle droids. George R. Binks was cool. <laughs> Look, there's that shitty graffiti again. Holy. What else did I like about the prequels? Uh, I liked the casting of Obi-Wan was fucking amazing. And I am still upset that they're making a, a, a young Han Solo movie instead of a fucking Obi-Wan movie with him. It's like, let, let him have a chance to be Obi-Wan in a good movie. Like, no, what? I don't want to see a young Han Solo movie. Fuck that. I don't want to see anyone that isn't Harrison Ford play, as, play Han Solo. Like, what the fuck? Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see some young actor, probably Chris Pratt, play Han Solo. Go fuck yourself. Nobody wants to see that. Everyone loves Han Solo, but nobody wants to see Chris Pratt play a young Han Solo. Fuck that. I don't want to see nobody who ain't Harrison Ford playing Han Solo. He is the character. That's the whole point. Exactly. Yeah, I would love to see a movie about what Obi-Wan did between 3 and 4. Thank you. Like, fucking that is a good movie. There's a good idea. A fucking Obi-Wan movie between 3 and 4. There, there you go. Fucking... Is Chris confirmed? It's gonna be Chris Pratt. It's gonna be Chris Pratt. Don't worry. Chris Pratt voiced by Tara Strong. I still think Star Wars fatigue is gonna set in and I think these spin-offs are a bad idea in general. Maybe do one spin-off, but three spin-offs is gonna Star Wars fatigue is gonna set in by the end of this sextilogy of films. It's gonna set in. It's gonna set in. You just wait. By the 6th 
of these movies, people are going to be so fucking sick of Star Wars. Some guy from the Hail Caesar movie is playing young Han Solo. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who it is. He canonically got married and fucked a Mandalorian princess. We'll make a movie about that! Also, is that still canon though? Because... Because, uh, they, they ex canon everything that isn't the movies or the cartoon. Mommy! 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 What is that? Stay fr- what is that? Is that a fucking cat version of- Like, is that an anime cat version of Callie? I got distracted by that art. I was- I'm very confused. I'm sick of superhero movies too. I was sick of superhero movies after fucking Spider-Man 2. I was done with them. I was like, enough. I was good. I'm fine. I'm good with them. Still want a Teen Titans movie, but, but, you know. I'd like a live action- if they're gonna do live action superhero movies, where's my goddamn live action Teen Titans movie? Where's that? I fucking love the Teen Titans. Give me that shit. Did that, did that fire? Did it still work? Yeah, it still worked. Good. That was a My Little Pony version of Callie. Mommy! Do you guys want to know something? I actually didn't have anything to say. I completely for- I, I didn't forget what I was gonna say, I just did- I said that without having anything to say. I feel bad for Team Cali too. Not because they're losing, because they're clearly doing better than me, but because they just- I, they have such terrible taste, you know? It's something that you, you can't- you can't fix. Giraffe sent me a video the other day. I guess one of the people he's in Alaska with managed to get on the internet for a little while. And uh, he saw this really good deal for an Xbox One. So he ordered it. Thinking, you know, they could play Xbox One up there and it'd be fun. So he got his Xbox One and they can't connect the Xbox One to the internet. So he can't do the first time setup so he can't fucking play it. That's, that's a problem. I don't like that. You shouldn't need your fucking internet to just plug plug in a console and just play it. You shouldn't need that shit. I mean, I agree. I wouldn't buy an Xbox One either, but... You know, those people who went up to Alaska has got to be some crazies, you know? I wouldn't want to sit in Alaska and load planes for three months. He's in, he's in the middle of fucking nowhere. Alright, that's like two wins in a row. Not bad. Alright, one more game. One more game, then we're switching. We're switching to a game called... Uh, let me tell you what it is. Because I, I found it, and I thought it could be fun to play. It is called... Spooky Castle. With Kid Mystic. Or starring Kid Mystic. I don't even... Spooky Castle. So that's what we're playing after this. And then I'm done. And then I'm then I'm going to send you all over to Vine Sauce to watch their charity stream. Well, the Mario theory will come after that, but it's only going to be like 2 seconds. It's not it doesn't count. It doesn't count. Have we talked about the new JoJo episode? I thought it was really fucking good. David Productions continues to prove that they are fucking incredibly good at, at, like, you know, doing fucking good adaptation. Like, they're, they're doing this manga some justice, man. 
They really are. Everything has been so spot on. Everything has been so spot on. It was really, really good. Did I hear that JoJo is coming to Toonami? I did hear that. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. I haven't heard the, the dub at all, so I don't know how it is, but I'm actually, I'm pretty glad about that. I don't watch Toonami, but, you know, if it lets more people see JoJo, that's good. You know, it was funny. Like, I, I have grown to like anime more, but as a kid, whenever Toonami came on, I was like, ugh. I don't want to watch anime. Did anyone else feel like that? It wasn't exactly that I didn't like anime. I just... I don't know. I just didn't... I never felt like watching Toonami. Never. Are they starting with part one? Or are they just going to jump to Stardust Crusaders like a bunch of dang scrubs? Jojo is voiced by number one from Kids Next Door. Which Jojo? Which Jojo is voiced by him? It was just sort of like the same thing as when live action shows came on when I was a little kid and I was watching Nick Jr. or Playhouse Disney. I was like, fuck! I don't want to watch a live action show, I want my goddamn cartoons! Jotaro is not voiced by number one. Oh, it's Joseph. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, I was gonna say, no. You don't fucking have Jotaro voiced by fucking number one from Kids Next Door. Kids Next Door was a good show, but I hated the art style. I really hated the art style of that show. Ragu, what are you doing, Ragu? Joseph... Or Jotaro is Leon from Resident Evil 4. I can hear that. I can hear that working. That's actually that's probably that's pretty good. That's a pretty good casting. I have a question about their voice acting though. And don't pretend that if you are a fan of JoJo, you have never tried to to say Aura as fast as Jotaro. They have to have sped that up, right? Because there's no way you can say Aura that fast. I've tried and it ends up just coming out as da 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 da. There's no way that's not like computerally computerally enhanced. Right? You never saw part one, did you miss out? Why did why would you skip part one? It's only like what is it, like nine episodes? Maybe less? It's just you have to start with part one. You don't just start with part three. There's no way you can say Aura that quickly without it fucking devolving into babbling. No fucking way. Computerally enhanced. Wow, we're just fucking losing, dude. Well, this was the last game. No, I need to I need to end with a victory though. Fuck it. No, I don't. That was it. It was a victory for me. Alright, okay. Well, that was, that was, you know, it's, at least I came out on top. At least I came out on top. Alright, well, I did my part. I got to be a Marie defender. If Marie loses, I did all I could. Alright, I'm done. Part 4 is the best JoJo part. It's objective truth. Joseph is my favorite JoJo, I think. But part 4 is my favorite part. Alright. Well, that was Splatoon. Let's take a look at the art quick. When they used the final boss theme. OMG, OMG, OMG. I still do not understand. It's a cat. It's a cat. Did they draw it like a cat? Was she team cat or something? Good luck, everyone. What does it say? Key Splat Splatfest? The last Splatfest. That is a horrifying face next to that. Reminds me of fucking 
fucking guy from from Yume Nikki that's name is escaping me right now. Uboa. Wumi. Okay. Final Splatfest. Let's make it count. See, that's why they should be doing this with the presidential election. They'd get a lot more voters. Yes. Everybody dance. That's good art. Here's hoping for Splatoon 2. I'm dying. Splatfist. Marie is winning. How can you tell, you stupid asshole? We got this. What is this guy? This guy's like edgy. Look at this shit. My brush is yours, Valid. <laughs> this is the guy Callie's gonna date. He's such a gentleman. He's such a chivalrous dental dentalman. My <laughs> brush is yours, now and forever. I hate how they reuse art. It's like, fuck off, come on, just load a couple more. Team Cali for the win! I need an up, team. I need an up? What the hell does that mean? Is that some slang term I don't know? Battle of the waifus. Team Cali for the win! There's Ragu. There's Johnny. There's... Oh, these guys don't... Have they always put players you recently played with outside the, the arena? I think that's everything. Alright. Alright, well, Splatoon, it was a good run. I'll probably never turn this game on again. I fucking love this game, though. I don't know why I don't turn it on again. You guys think I'm a weeb. Come on. Look at this guy. Total weeb. He's definitely, like, Japanese, though, which is funny because I'm calling him a weeb, but I don't know. Okay. Um. Alright. Well, that was, that was Splatoon. I had fun. I had fun with it. Um. I guess that's it, then. Uh, I will switch games. I will be back in, I want to say five minutes because I need time to, to switch the gears. Like my, I need to ch move my monitor and move my chair and move my cords and everything. So give me like five minutes and I'll be right back with something that might just be fucking terrible and not even worth watching. So yeah. <laughs>